Hello and welcome to my second episode of This is... wait... Life is Strange. Yes, Life is Strange. This is actually the third time Damn, I've played through I this because worry. I've had a problem with my microphone and warn her quickly. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually uh, help somebody. Kind of bored of this chapter already. <laughs> Not your fault. It's actually my fault. Actually, I blame my microphone. I plugged it into um, I always get a, little a faulty USB port at the back, here. which is connected to my 30 pin on my motherboard, and I think I might just uh, change it later. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Probably because he watches everyone through security camera. Oh wait, I should intervene. Bully. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, he got whipped. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday girl. The background music is really quite good. The cinematics are very good. Very peaceful. Very peaceful. If only life were like this. Unless again it is. If you want it to be. Ah, I'm pretty sure Warren has a crush on her. Which will become apparent with the way he acts. But I'm glad I stepped in that time. Hey, that's pretty cool. There's no way I can walk to the town from here. Besides, I need to see Warren. I, don't get it. I just wanted to uh, exactly explore a bit, which I didn't before. I don't know. <clears throat> Good thing I don't have a car yet. Cars equals death. <laughs> Who toilet papers a bike? People who are too chicken to bait. What's this? Damn, somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. Which will also become more apparent later. Oh, wait, I was meant to talk to someone. Retarded. Let's talk to Juliet. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Yes, you are, and I will bother you. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Okay. Max, get your ass over here. Excuse me? Okay, let's have a look at your car. Look at Warren and his way back machine. He's a brave man. And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? He stole what it. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Whoa, hey. Thanks. Put no your problem. ding -ling away. I'm trying to shake your hand. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. 
Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Hmm. No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. For a week, I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. So you have something to talk about? Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So sensitive. sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Uh, yeah, how so? how so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Lol. Oh that's how you diffuse the situation. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should crew down in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Uh huh. Sympathy. No, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to speak about it. This is kind of a crazy day for me. I mean, I literally think I'm going crazy. I may be a pest, but I'm a good listener. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Here comes you know trouble. Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw. Now. Hiding in the bathrooms? What are you doing in the women's Answer bathroom? Me, bitch. What, what are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Carl. Who? Step back. Take bitch. a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom. No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Oh, bro, I got this. Get in, Max. Get your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Nobody. Oh, I guess Warren was pretty cool. Not sure if that's self or something. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five You're years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. Hey, it's so good to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hmm. Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Yeah, it didn't. No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Um. Yeah. She has a crush on her teacher, but whatever. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark. See, Jefferson. she can't deny it. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. It's a bit personal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. 
I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. No said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. This is a pretty cool game. You know what? They actually cost quite a lot. I did have a look at them just now on Amazon. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. I think Polaroid's latest one is 180, nearly 190 pounds. Tiny tools. 10 megapixels. My stepdad has a fully stock garage, and he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Mixed reviews about that camera. Some people say the image quality isn't that good, but it is quite a novelty. I wouldn't mind getting one. Nice house. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Product placement? Much. I think it was a Samsung. Can't remember. I didn't get it quite good. Break. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. Medicate. Uh. Is that even legal over there? Anyway, from the first episode, you'll know that uh, there's a missing girl. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into. I had wondered why it's been such a big thing. I think we have to hunt her down. She looks super happy. And now she, she looks, looks super, super sad. sad. Next, okay. Any CDs here? I think this junk swallowed her discs. Oh, it's not Samsung. Four characters. Sony? No. Let's have a look. I meant blurred it up. Oh well. Uh. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Nineteen years. Five five. Blonde hair. Hazel eyes. Tattoo of calf of dragon. I'm pretty sure this Chloe had a tattoo somewhere else. Huh. Maybe it's linked in some way. And there we have the CD. And a photo of Rachel Amber. The missing girl. Dun dun dun. They were hey, friends. Give me that. Sorry. I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. Putting it mildly. So, who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my... angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. That doesn't seem like, uh... So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. 
I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Okay, then... How do you know that? How do you know she disappeared? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Whoa. Something happened to her. I believe... Personal? I'm just trying to get all deducted. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Let me guess, some um, punk rock, some death metal, I don't know. Anyway, this is how... This is where I left off the last time, but we'll go a bit further. A little bit further. Let's hope the uh, sound actually records and doesn't screw up my file afterwards. Don't smoke, kids. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. She can't sleep. Oh, this is a flashback to you. Our super secret closet lair. Let's have a peek around her house. I feel that this Telltale Story game isn't as, uh... Wait, toolbox, garage, yes. It's not as flexible as all the other games that I've played, like, uh... You have to choose the right thing to say. Hey, this room looks normal. How was that? Man, I am nosy today. Oh. Oh shit, poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. So let's open. <laughs> so cool. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Okay, let's have a look at the photo of the happy family. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Uh, daddy issues. Oh my. Chloe made this for Joyce on Mother's Day years ago. I see why she would keep it. Joyce still works at the diner. Is her husband a cop? Poor Chloe. Sergeant, I think he's with the military somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here. Yeah. People with daddy issues or mommy issues, uh, they turn out really, really uh, scary in the future. Oh, okay. Let's go downstairs. Oh, security guard. Makes sense. Let's see if she can catch on to... Oh, wait. Let's look at this something here. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. As always. Now this is the Chloe I remember. Always smiling and laughing. <laughs> Not so much anymore. What your childhood was like, viewers. I haven't seen this place in five years. Was it as peaceful as this? Seems like forever. Did you guys have a good time? Joy still Remember works good. At Diner. Summers. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. I'm hungry now. <laughs> that was fast. Oh, grab a donut, grab a donut. What's this? I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Yum, 
That looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. Yeah, oh, pizza. Nice fireplace. What's the TV? There's always gonna be TV. Oh, nice. Hey, I remember that stain. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. Well, let's make ourselves at home. Maybe somebody on, walk in. Chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well, tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want to sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh shit, the carpet! There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up. It's actually pretty cool. I do like a bit of reminiscing. Let's see if we can go into the back garden. Probably memories on the swing. I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? No, oh, wait. Sorry, let's go back. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world. Go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. <laughs> dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, well, that's a you are lot a of us. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. this grave for Chloe's kitty. Oh. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. Kinda sucks. Um, okay, can't go through this way. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. Kinda sad. My old landlady cat uh Oh wait, here's the garage. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Yeah, she kept the kitchen uh pretty much the same it was. Cool, now it's opened. When her husband passed away. And I was poking around I was like, oh the the fridge, everything was left the same. The kitchen is just and she made a new one upstairs, and it's like, wow, can't can't get past it. It's pretty sad. Shit, Butterfingers. Oh, it's okay. We can go back. Nothing happened. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. Probably. These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. Okay, let's have a look in the cupboard. TV. What the? Chloe's huh. stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. 
Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Uh, okay. We can just close it. Oh wait, I do want to have a look at the map. Wowzer, a map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Okay. No consequences when you can just shut this. And it's fine. Warning, don't dial 911. Oh, have a look. Tools. Ooh, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. So you just turn this on and hope it shakes off. Hello. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Can reach? Man, I should have done that before they fell. Oh. In that case, let's go back. Turn on. And drag out. Pull. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. And the ability to turn back time, but whatever. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. Oh, him. Oh, he wants gosh. wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? This guy. This guy's a douche. Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? Hmm. He must really hate her. Well, I'm glad that bird went into his room. I should shut that. Uh, your room is here. Let's have a look. And let's fix. I would say get a new one, but they are quite expensive. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah, I just took them today. Let me see. Wait, I've seen this before. Uh, no way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? I wasn't sure. I know I look a lot different. I was scared, too. I, I couldn't see straight. I don't blame you, Max. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money. Drugs. But that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. So Thank it's a God. good thing I didn't tell him in the first place. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. Of course, we're besties.
Ugh, it's getting I, cold. Uh, no, it was your birthday last month. No way. No way. This it's was my real father's camera. Oh. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can't. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Well. Shake that phony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> I think this is a good place to stop for this episode, ending on a high. Uh, thank you for joining me, and I really hope that this video records. Uh, join me next time uh, when we will continue this story, and uh, yeah.